Good morning! Uh, this is day two at La Seeing Eye. Ah. <laughs> Clearly it's six o'clock. I just got up. It's day two, episode five of Colleen's Guide Dog Vlog. Welcome. If you haven't seen previous episodes, there'll be links in the description, so uh, feel free to follow along with the playlist. You can subscribe, click the little bell, and you'll get more episodes. Um, so today is day two, and I do not have my dog yet. Uh, there is my invisible pup pup. Invisible pup! Um, with some of the grooming accoutrements. And, um... A tie down which is where um, there's like an eye hook in the floor or the wall and you can secure your dog to it um, and some measuring cups for foodsies so uh, yeah hopefully today will go well today we're going into town well there's breakfast and then we're going into town in downtown Morristown New Jersey we're gonna be doing Juno walks uh, a Juno walk is where the instructor pretends to be the dog and they have a faux harness and leash that you hold on to. They're today making final decisions as to what dog is going to be your dog. So tomorrow morning, Wednesday morning, I will be meeting my pup pup. And I don't know who that's going to be yet, but we shall find out. Uh, hopefully I do well in the Juno walks today and then I think we come back for lunch and then we do some lectures and I think there's a wine and cheese night tonight. I don't even know what's going on. I feel like I'm at a puppy resort. <laughs> so I hope everyone has a fantastic day. Um, I'll keep you posted and thanks for joining me on my journey. Okay everyone, hello. A um, little later on in the day, uh, we had our Juno walks in town and I think I did well. Um, it was really cool. Um, the difference between using a cane and using the harness and the leash is that um, it's like flying. I don't know how else to describe it. It's I was able to walk at like a natural pace and instead of finding all the obstacles and every bump in the sidewalk and um, having contact with everything, you're avoiding everything. So the dog will take you around things. It's just going to let you walk. And, um, it's cool. It's, um, it's like more, it's smooth and stuff. You head downstairs to the ladies' lounge. Please remain seated until the ladies' lounge or the north lounge. Um, I'll see you down there. That's my class. I gotta go. Hello, everyone. I just got back from my second trip into town and um, a meeting about uh, how to put on a harness and a gentle leader. So the harness is the part that you strap around the dog, their chest and their belly, and that. Um, has the handle that I'll hold on to to be guided. The gentle leader um, is used sometimes and that goes like across their face a little bit and that just allows you to have more control of their head specifically. So you've got a collar, a harness, and sometimes a gentle leader. So they've got a lot of equipment on them, but um, they're trained for that. So there you go. Uh, positive reinforcement is a big thing. So I practiced on a giant stuffed dog which was awesome. And then we went into town and I did another Juno walk and um, I think I'm doing really well. So I'm excited about it. And in a little bit, we're gonna have a talk with the president of the Seeing Eye and then a social this evening. So kind of our last day before the real work begins and we get our four-legged fuzzy friends. So. Um, I think I'm doing really well. I'm trying my best and trying to remember all of the commands and the way to hold my hands and the way to stand and the way to go right and left and kind of trying to remember to let the harness um, move me laterally because um, when you travel with a cane you try and stay in a straight line. You try and stay 
um, as straight as you can. And when you have a dog and you're holding onto a harness, they're going to be avoiding objects. And so you're, they're going to be pulling you left and right and moving a little bit laterally. So I had to get used to that and kind of loosen up my arm and, and be responsive. So I'm still working, but um, the real work begins tomorrow. So <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. And thanks for listening. We're about to do a fire drill. So it's going to be 20 blind people and the staff going to fire exits in the building. And that's how it's going to be. Whew, that was fun. <laughs> so it's like a regular fire drill, except the fire alarms get louder as you get towards the exits so that you know that that's the exit to leave. I'm really glad we did that without our dogs because I feel like they would be super done because I'm super done with my hearing right now. <laughs> um, but it's been good. Um, we had a talk with the president of the Seeing Eye and we got a little bit of a history of the Seeing Eye and how it's funded, which by the way, it's funded solely by donation. Um, and fundraising, there is uh, no endowment or uh, by the government, uh, no federal funding. They're a nonprofit, so uh, it's funded by donations. If you want to donate to the Seeing Eye, you can go to their website, which I will put a link in the description. Um, so far, I've had a, a wonderful experience at this school, and I haven't even gotten my dog yet, so. <laughs> So far, I can recommend them highly. I feel good about the process and I still don't have a clue who I'm getting, um, but I will tomorrow morning. Tonight is a wine and cheese social, so we're gonna be talking to the staff members and um, continuing to getting to know each other. And we also get our leashes tonight. So I will be getting um, a nice leather leash that I practiced with earlier today, but um, it will actually be given to me tonight and I will have my very first guide dog leash. So it's um, leather and apparently and most likely it'll be really stiff at first. So I'll have to work it until it's a nice soft leash. When I get my dog tomorrow, I guess I'll start on that. All of the people who are here with me have been wonderful. Uh, sometimes it's really, really nice to be around your own kind if that makes any sense. Being around other visually impaired people and just having people understand and treat you like just another human being. And we're all just having fun chatting and telling stories and it's amazing to have firsthand to experience of those who are former guide dog owners. You know, for some people this is their eighth dog. For some people it's their first, like me. Uh, so there's a huge range of us here, uh, about 20 students, and I'm really excited. Uh, there are six of us who are brand new guide dog owners, so we'll be staying an extra week and a few days longer than the retrains is what they call them, someone who's getting a replacement dog because they've either had to put down or retire their former guides. As far as this school in general, one of their mottos is dignity and respect for blind people and that's both a historical thing, historical significance, which I'll talk about in another video, and also a human rights thing um, to have staff members and people just treat you so well um, and just like feeling like you're normal because there are few of us and um, especially someone with a rare eye disease like mine, cone rod dystrophy, there aren't very many of us and so when you're treated as a regular person and you're a person first and a blind person second, it's really nice. It's a really nice atmosphere. All the staff have been professional and kind and courteous and uh, the whole application process, the whole time, I've just felt like an adult and an independent woman and it's great. So that's what I have to say on that. Um, I'll do another video covering the history of the seeing eye and some of the more interesting facts as to why they have such a big um, significance with 
dignity and respect for someone who is blind. Uh, so keep tuning into my channel and hopefully um, soon I will be able to introduce you guys to my brand new four-legged friend. It happens very rarely, but um, sometimes they bring you a dog and you start working with them and it doesn't work out and um, they have to switch dogs and apparently and obviously to me because they've done so much um, work with you it's very rare but um, I'll probably wait to do a video until a few days from now so that I know I've got my for life companion. So stay tuned and make sure you subscribe to my videos so you can see my doggy when he or she arrives. Also you can email me at blindinspirationcast at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter at inspirationcast. If you want to request a transcript, if you have questions, if you have comments, please leave them below. Once again this is Colleen Connor and thanks for listening to my guide dog vlog.